Dakin, now more devoted to Krakoa, offered up his services to the newly minted X Factor along with Northstar, Polaris, Prestige, her pet warwolf Amazing Baby, Prodigy, and Eyeboy. They were tasked by Northstar with finding the missing and most likely dead body of his sister Aurora in order to make sure she was actually dead for the resurrection process to be applied by the five. At first, Dakin only offered because he was drunk, bored, and thought she was hot, but later proved to become a valuable team member along the way. After discovering Jean Marie was actually dead and murdered by an anti-mutant human she was dating, they brought back her body to Krakoa. Afterwards the group officially banded together under the leadership of Northstar, with the approval of the Quiet Council of Krakoa and the Five. During their first case the team traveled to the Mojovers to investigate Wind Dancer's disappearance, where Dakin, deliberately, got rejected by the border control and went back to the Boneyard. There he made some advances toward Jean Marie, but she fled the conversation once he brought up the circumstances of her death. During the Academy X house party following Sophia's resurrection, he admitted to Lorna that he didn't understand how I-Boy's happy attitude could be anything but an act, but she reminded him that not all kids went through the amounts of trauma they did. Later that evening he was seen drawing on the walls of his room using charcoal when Jean-Marie approached him and he reaffirmed that he was truly romantically interested in her.